Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. And in this video, I have brought an important topic for every organization, every recruiter, every HR. And I know and I believe and we all should believe that HRs are the pillar of the organizations who take the cream candidates and who take the best fit for the organization so in admiring all those people who are putting lot much efforts to uh, to hire the best candidate for the organization this video is dedicated to them so whoever are watching this video if you are a hr and you already know this points just comment down you know if you are new to the channel subscribe and share it with your friends and like it so that i get good amount of motivation to bring such contents more in the future now without delaying in the video we will get started with the points so if you are the hr you are a recruiter first of all you will receive the plat resume of the candidate through various platforms i will not name the platforms but i will tell in general it can be a consultancy or it can be a job platform now let's understand you have received the resume to your table via email or through some consultancy first and foremost point one you need to check is which organization the candidate is belonging. You copy paste that organization name if you are not knowing. Then search in the Google if the organization name is XYZ organization and you are not knowing that. So you are that, that's why you are going to the Google, right? So when, once you are doing the Google, then you come to know like it has four reviews, five reviews or 10 reviews where candidates are giving three stars, four stars, five stars and in Glassdoor and in, uh, uh, in other platforms, you don't find any data for the organization. That means the point has to be raised to the candidate and has to be very much precise and you need to get the details from the candidate. Like what is the location of the, your organization? First question, your ID card, your manager name, your team details and all those things you can ask. And trust me, if the candidate is not able to answer these questions, then reject, right? So first point first, with the organization name, we can scrutinize the candidate. Now, next thing, let's take organization is present in the Google. It is having good reviews. It is excellently designed. All the pictures and everything seems genuine. Step two, you need to screen in the candidate with few of the questions. Now, what will be the few of the questions? You definitely need to check with the panelists before talking to the candidate, right? You need to have some certain questions to filter out which candidate is best for this position. We cannot take hundreds of resumes, then it will be a burden for you. At the same time, it will be a burden for the organization to filter in the candidates. So have some certain checklists of the questions from the interview panelists for that particular position so that whenever you get in touch with the candidate, you ask those questions and make sure guys you are taking that questions live if possible or at least on the telephonic call so that you come to know what is the standard of the candidate now point number two is discussed very clear right you scrutinize the candidate with the list of questions whatever has been given to you so now point number three if you are confident enough okay point one the resume is clear the job the organization is clear the candidate is also fitting for the job role the third point you need to get from the candidate is about the roles and responsibilities. At least talk to the candidate, know about the candidate, how much confidently he is speaking. Communication is very important for an organization to become successful, guys. And I strongly believe that communication will help each one of us to scrutinize the candidate. So whenever I take the interview, I make sure the candidate which I am getting should be confident enough in answering at least 60 to 70 percent of the questions if he or she is not knowing i make sure you guys are confident enough either to google the questions or to confidently tell yes or no so i i make sure i give the best to my manager whoever is undergoing that interview process so point number three I hope you are clear. You need to ask the candidate the roles and responsibilities. A little bit of cross questions also you should be giving in order to make sure that candidate is also knowing that, okay, HR is potentially strong and he himself, if he's a candidate of fake, he himself will step back by knowing the HR is asking so many questions. So I should be careful. So now point number three is clear. Point number four, very, very much important. Once the candidate is crossing all these levels, so now you have to tell few things to the panelists because in this pandemic, we all are doing the work from home. We all are sitting in home and doing the interview. We should be very much careful in judging the candidate. Now you need to give some document, at least one document where you are giving the checklist for the interviewer panelists. So what should be the checklist? So 
वीडियो ऑन राइट ऑडियो ऑन टेस्टिंग द नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी नो लैग इन द नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी शुड बी देर इफ एनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर देर देन इंटरव्यूअर शुड डायरेक्टली से टू द कैंडिडेट लाइक आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक द इंटरव्यू इफ द लैग इज देर एटलीस्ट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स एक्सक्यूजेस कैन बी गिवन इफ स्टिल सम मोर टाइम द लैग इज देर देन इट मीन्स वी शुड नॉट टेक द इंटरव्यू टू द कैंडिडेट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू नीड टू मेक श्योर ऑल द पॉइंट इन द चेकलिस्ट आर वेरी वेरी क्लियर टू द कैंडिडेट एज वेल एज टू द इंटरव्यू पैनलिस्ट सो I hope you guys have come to know what are the important points which every HR, every interview panelist should understand about the candidate. Now let's understand points. Every point the candidate is clearing, and now it's time to give the real-time interview. The network is good, the connectivity is good, the audio is proper, the video is visible. Now, how to judge whether that candidate is genuine or not? You can check with the with the PAN card. You can ask them to show their PAN card, and also ask them while showing. You can ask them some cross questions like, "What is your date of birth? What is your house name? What is your uh, full name?" So that, those kind of questions, if the candidate is confidently answering, that means he himself is sitting in the interview. If he is not confidently answering, and if he is blabbering, or if he is telling like, "Okay, I am having connectivity issues. I am having this. I am having that," that means that is not a proper candidate. But yeah, at least we should not directly blame that candidate. Again, I am telling we should give him a second second chance because they have crossed all these parameters, whatever I have told in this video. So make sure you guys are taking the best fit for your organization so that your organization grows more stronger. So make sure you guys take those people. So. Let's consider all these things have been cleared by the candidate. The candidate is also fitting the interview round one and round two. Now comes the beauty and the most important section: checking the BGV and the documents verification. Now, how you will verify whether the candidate is properly verified from an organization? Don't just email to the recruiter. which the candidate is mentioning in the bgv form you need to call them you need to make sure you have a strong bgv team which goes to the particular organization checks about the candidate so these points will make sure your candidate is suitable for this particular job role because once he joins the organization i will tell you like what are the other things you need to face is he will not do the work he or she will not do the work then the burden will be on the management right we have hired him as a potential candidate but now he or she is not meeting the criteria then who is going to res be responsible is we all who have hired him or her so make sure the bgv team is strong you your organization spends some amount in the bgv and make sure we go in person to the candidates organization and check about the transparency of the candidate so with this points whatever i have told if bgv is also cleared for the candidate then definitely we can be very much safe and secure that candidate is very much potential uh, for that particular job a uh, role which has been specified in the jd and we can say congratulations to him and give the onboarding date so now i hope to every organization to every hr who is seeing this video and who are new to my channel also subscribe to the channel share it with your friends like it i'll be bringing much much more content which i have gone through all this years my knowledge i will be sharing with you all my statistics my data my all the knowledge whatever i have sharing in the linkedin i will be sharing with you all with that said this is pravin singampalli signing off from today's video